Facebook has banned a Catholic ad featuring a crucifix because, according to Facebook, the crucifix is excessively violent imagery. The Franciscan University of Steubenville says that an ad they posted to Facebook was rejected for being shocking, sensational, and excessively violent. Now, the university was posting their ad to promote their online Master of Arts in Theology and their online Master of Arts program in Catechetics and Evangelization. But according to screenshots shared on the school's blog called The Franciscan, Facebook rejected the ad under the pretense that the school's image, video thumbnail, or video cannot contain shocking, sensational, or excessively violent content. The excessively violent image in this case was the San Damiano Cross. Now that's a fairly ornate, sort of well-known, I guess, and not all that gory depiction of Jesus reigning from a cruciform throne. When we're talking about the Easter season or the crucifixion of Jesus, the point was that it was a violent act. If you are a Christian, you believe that Jesus had knowledge of the violent death that was coming for him, and he accepted it as part of God's plan, a sacrifice because he so loved us all that he would die for our sins in such a horrible, horrible way. Okay, so there's your religion lesson for today. Now, the crucifixion was violent. That's the deal. But in reality, this isn't all that graphic considering the actual event we're talking about. Crucifixion was a form of execution the Romans frequently used where convicts were strung up and in Jesus' case also nailed onto cross timbers until they died of exposure, suffocation, or injuries related to brutality inflicted upon them before they were nailed or put upon the cross while crowds watched and waited for them to die. But this thing, it's beautiful and ornate and not gruesome. This is a pretty sanitized depiction of what a crucifixion really was. I mean, we had a scarier depiction of the 11th station of the cross in my house when I was growing up. And what was Facebook's excuse for all of this? It looks like the well-meaning folks at the Franciscan University were accidentally snagged by Facebook's algorithm. Now that might be true, I'll concede that, but I thought I'd take a look at some of the things that Facebook bans and then take a look at some of the things they don't ban, just for context. Just this past December, LifeSite reported that they tried to boost the story of a pro-life woman being dragged out of an abortion clinic by a doctor, but Facebook banned their ad. Facebook wouldn't really give a straight answer when emailed by LifeSite. Facebook simply stated that the image was against Facebook advertising policies and that the content advertised in the ad is prohibited. So no real reason, just arbitrary, prohibited because Facebook says so. Then back in 2016, Fox News had a pretty interesting article about 10 times Facebook had censored conservatives. One of the examples listed was when Facebook locked a young black kid's account for suspicious activity after he posted a video supporting Rudy Giuliani's criticisms of Obama. And then, continuing on our theme of Facebook being anti-Christian, another example cited in that article was the proliferation of groups with such names as Christianity is a plague begging for a cure and the Virgin Mary should have been aborted. But at the same time, a group supporting Kirk Cameron's Christian-focused movie Unstoppable was shut down without explanation by Facebook. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the things that Facebook somehow lets sneak past this algorithm. In March 2017, a 15-year-old girl in Chicago was gang raped by a group of five to six men or boys while 40 people watched on Facebook Live. In January 2017, two Afghan migrant men and a Swedish citizen were arrested on suspicion of rape in Sweden after live streaming a rape to Facebook for three hours. In April 2017, a Cleveland man named Steve Stevens posted a Facebook video of himself randomly killing another man. Stevens then posted other videos claiming to have committed other murders, all to Facebook. And in January 2017 in Chicago, four young people, goons really, posted a Facebook Live video of themselves beating and torturing an 18-year-old man with special needs. And you know what? Even more recently and a little more closer to home, a little over a week ago in British Columbia, 
the violent protesters at the Kinder Morgan pipeline site in Burnaby assaulted an RCMP officer and one protester proudly Facebook lived the assault itself. And that assault took place after that same protester recorded herself to Facebook Live, encouraging fellow protesters to assault that same officer. Go! Go! You see, the old algorithm excuse seems to catch a lot of conservatives and pro-lifers, which I think is a little bit weird. Facebook is a private company and they can do really whatever they want, but could they at least pretend to be fair in the application of their own rules? Because the truth is, Facebook misses a whole world of real live broadcast violent imagery, even as recently as last week in Burnaby, BC. By the way, I checked and that video is still up on Facebook. I will acknowledge that this could be the result of some automated algorithm, but that means this automated algorithm needs a pile of more work because it appears to have some sort of agenda written right into it. There's been a real outbreak of violence captured on Facebook Live over the past few years. Murders, rapes, and assaults on innocent people and police officers. And they've all been broadcast on Facebook Live. Facebook Live is a real problem. It can even be a place for snuff videos if you want it to be. But instead, Facebook spent all their time and a lot of money developing an algorithm that accidentally bans Jesus during Lent. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunry. What you just saw there is my daily video here at The Rebel, but I also have my own weekly full-length show. It's called The Gun Show. We talk about issues facing Canadian families. To get access to my show and the rest of our incredible premium content, become a Rebel subscriber today.